Hey guys, very good morning. This is Dr. Suresh. I'm a pronunciation expert. In this video, we're going to talk about the letter R and the sound. And usually this particular letter R is not always pronounced according to this English language. Sometimes it is pronounced, sometimes it is silent. But some of the non-native speakers, uh, when they pronounce this particular letter R sound in words, they always pronounce it like this. Water, better, brother, sister, door, floor, mother, wire, board, shirt, some of them. And some say a little more in a polished way, but that's not the way it's supposed to be pronounced, the letter R sound. And before we go into this particular R sound and how to learn, we need to remember one particular formula. But whenever you talk about any mathematics, any math, you always go with the, with the formula. Similarly, for every concept, there is a formula. In other words, rules. And I know everybody knows about vowels. So what are the vowels? But the very word vowels is not pronounced like vowels. It should be pronounced like vowels. Almost this W is gone, silent. So you have to pronounce the word as vowels. Z. You have to give the Z sound for the S. So vowels. A, E, I, O, U. And there is one more letter. I hope some of you would have got that. Yes, it is the letter Y. Yes, this letter Y is called the semi-vowel because sometimes it is consonant, sometimes it is vowel. And for example, any word begins with the letter Y, it is a consonant. And any word ends with the letter Y, it is a, it is a vowel. So here we are specifically talking about words that are ending with the letter Y. Or sometimes in the middle, it depends. So that's why it is called the semi-vowel here. So this is the rule we're going to apply into pronouncing this particular word. When it is pronounced, when it is not pronounced. Like I said, the British English and the way how they pronounce this particular letter or sound is this. Sometimes they pronounce, sometimes they silence it. But how to find out? Like I said, this is the vowel. Just always remember it is within a word or it could be within a word or with any other sentence. Whatever it is, letter R. You have to remember this. If the R is followed by a vowel sound, you have to pronounce the letter R. For example, brother. But the word ends with the letter R, it is silent. Just, you have to remember this, this particular rule as well. Any word ends with the letter R, it is silent as a word. But if in a sentence, depending upon the next sound, it varies. But if you're going to pronounce individual words, and those words are going to end in letter R, you have to pronounce the letter S as silent, like brother, the letter R is silent. Here it is pronounced but I would like to and let me just give you more example on words ending with the letter R for example car you don't simply say car because the letter R is silent the rule is any word ends with the letter R it is always silent except in a sentence in sentence it depends that I we will talk about that in this particular video after some time but let's talk about this matter better uh, brother uh, door, floor, and uh, car, commander, sir. Some of us used to say like sir, sir, sir. It's not that way. It is sir, uh, particular, daughter, mother, brother, sister. That's the way we have to pronounce it. That's one rule. That is apart from these uh, R sound. So remember. Um, fine, so we're going to talk about now and the pronounced R. The next sound is a vowel, is one from here. So we have to pronounce the letter R, but then not like brother, R. Now usually the non-native speakers got the habit of pronouncing this letter R sound like R, R. Like touching the tip of the tongue and uh, at the upper, uh, no, the, the roof of your mouth, but you should not touch anywhere when you pronounce this particular letter R sound. 
the tip of the tongue should not touch anywhere in your mouth when you pronounce that particular letter R. So when you pronounce this brother, brother, when you touch it, it will start flapping like R. If the tip of the tongue touches anywhere in your in your mouth, then it starts da 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 like that. But you should not touch it. So brother, that's the way. And then great. You are pronouncing it because the next letter is followed by a vowel. So you are pronouncing it, but then not like great. It should be great, great, great. And then uh, uh, green. So the next sound is a vowel. So you have to pronounce the letter R, green. So that's how you have to pronounce it. You can apply it to any word in the whole of English language. If the letter R is followed by a vowel, you have to pronounce it. But if the letter R is followed by a consonant, you have to silence it. Like park. Silence means completely silence it. Don't sound it when you pronounce it. Just remove it completely. Park. And then when you say the word this. Ma ke. Don't even sound the letter R at all. And then when you talk about the word shirt, shirt. But just because it is like R is uh, silent, and then the remaining is S H I T. No, no, please don't do that. Not that way. Just the same way how you pronounce it, but not like without it. All right. And then another word like. Bold because the letter R is silent, it is followed by a consonant, and here it is followed by the letter R is followed by a consonant, so it is silent, and here the letter R is followed by a consonant, it is silent. So that's it, that's a very simple rule you have to remember. I hope you understood if the letter R is followed by a vowel, you have to pronounce it. And if the letter R is followed by a consonant, you have to silence it. That's it. It's very easy. And I, I just told you about in a sentence. And if I say that the car is mine. So this is a sentence. If I say this particular word individually, the letter R is silent because that is out the British English. That is how the rule is. You have to silence it completely. Just like when you say the word sir, not sir. But if the same word, if you put that in a sentence like this, and this letter R is pronounced because there is an I, which is from here. Now, don't think that it's only within a word. It also covers the next word as well, not just the next sound next word as well that's why so you have to say the car is mine so you are pronouncing the letter you have to pronounce this letter the car is mine and if you say uh, sir uh, if you say the word individually it is sir um, for example sir comes for us now here it is silent here it is silent again here, if you say this word individually, F-O-R, then you have to pronounce it like for, silencing the letter R. But here, the next word begins with the letter U, which is from here, vowels. So you have to pronounce it here, for us, for us, like that. So, sir comes for us. Or if you say some other example like, sir is... Uh, working here sir is working here so if you see the next word actually begins with a vowel so you have to pronounce it so is here it is silence because the next letter is followed by a consonant so working here not here but here is like uh, the, the word is actually pronounced like he uh, here there is no R sounding at all okay this is completely British English
It's very simple. Let me just go ahead and give you a little recap. Just remember this rule, the logic, the formula, vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, and also the letter Y. So six letters you have to remember. And before pronouncing this particular letter, R sound in a word or in a sentence, wherever it is. It's the same formula to all the English words all put together. Okay, so simple logic. Before vowels, pronounced. Before consonant, silent. I've just shown you some of the examples that'll help you. And that is it. You got it. Now, it's not something that you get overnight. You got to practice. You have to practice again and again and again. Only then you will get it. But it's not. you don't have to practice like years together. Just practice for some time. You get it to your tongue. That depends on how much time you put in the practice. Otherwise, we cannot judge. All right. And whatever we saw, it's completely about British English. But the Americans, they always pronounce the letter R. They do not go with this way. They don't bother about these rules at all. They no respect for these rules at all. They always pronounce the letter R, but not like the other non-native speakers, like R, R, R. Okay? They would always apply the sound of R, like if it is, uh, if you're a uh, uh, thumber, you would say like R. They would always uh, pronounce the sound er, re, ro, re, rai. Any one of this particular sound, depending upon uh, the particular word. For example, marker, floor, door, shirt, hair. The, 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 the thing that we inhale, air, and then the one that flies on the air, like aeroplane, aeroplane, board, water, better, letter, and thermometer, and then you got water, board, shirt, some of the example, brother, uh, sister, car, er, er, er. That's American English. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much.